Okay, we're back. Um, hmm. Keeping this thing cool and quiet is tricky. Um, right, I have flipped this one around, so it's now exhausting. If you haven't seen one of these videos before with this ongoing issue with my uh, case, I have these a pair of uh, graphics cards that are dumping so much heat inside the case that basically it's, it's getting too warm. The air is being sucked up through and out, out the back, out the top. Um, and it's overwhelming the CPU cooler. So we're now extracting from that one. Plan for today is uh, power supply down there, underneath there, uh, is up. It's going to get flipped so it's not dragging hot air from inside the case through the power supply and out because that was chuffing hot when I was testing that earlier. I'm going to do some other bits and pieces on the top. Anyway, I'll explain more when we got the side off. Right, hopefully this will make more sense. So, uh, these two, very good at keeping themselves cool, but they pump so much heat into the case that the D14 up here, which is the big cooler, um, just doesn't get enough cool air, because by the time the air coming in from here, here, and here comes past this, the air here is now so warm that it's not effective anymore. The other problem I noticed, and I was doing an extended um, benchmark run as a, as a thermal test, I have my power supply fan up and the air coming out the back was, well, God, it was so hot, it was incredibly hot. You didn't even want to keep your hand there. So I'm gonna, the thing I'm gonna be doing today is flipping this and um, trying a suggestion from the Overclocker 3D forum and we're going to turn this into an input which means i need to put a filter on it and i'm going to attempt to reverse the flow of this fan and this fan so the air cold air will be coming in here through here obviously into this area but we've still got the fans at the top up here to evacuate the hot air out of the top of the case so Hopefully the D14 will be being fed directly from cold air from outside, straight to here, through, pulled through and out. It's not how it's designed to work, but we've got to do something about this heat. Other thing, little thing I've just noticed is this card is starting to droop very slightly. Hmm, might have to think about bracing that at some point. But anyway, first this has to be inverted and then we'll have a look at these and that. Got to get a filter on that as well. Okay, back in a bit. Right, she's the other way up. I had to take the bottom fan out to get this out enough to be able to turn it. It is now turned, it's not screwed in. Those cables down there, which you can't see because they're too dark, are a bit tight. One of the issues or concerns I was having was that this opening doesn't line up 100% with the fan opening. There's going to be, I'm going to lose, a, because that's the center of the fan, just see the silver of the Corsair badge. So the fan comes to about there, but it extends this way about to see. Ooh. So we shall have to see whether or not that's going to affect it. Hopefully it won't. It just can't be as bad as pulling all the hot air from this bottom um, graphics card through itself but of course it now means that the nasty label is showing which I don't like but anyway yeah time to put all the nest of wires back in I'll get out my own light might help you can see what's going on down there and then it's time to play with these see if I can easily reverse them it's always the difficulty of getting your fingers up into that little bit up there absolute pain in the tail releasing those top clips on this always a problem. It's a great cooler, but always a problem getting those top clips out. So we shall have a play. See you in a bit. Okay, got the power supply plugged in. I have my PCI Express plugs in. I'm trying to get some light down there, but I can't. You have to trust me on this one. That, there's no longer any room for the fan. The fan is not going in under the second lot of PCI Express cables, so I'm going to have to learn to live without a fan in the bottom, which is, hmm, curiouser and curiouser. 
That's annoying. That's very annoying. Not enough room. Bugger. Well, at least not enough room if it's going to be on this nice filtered housing jobby. If I were to just fit it directly, I might be able to do it. But not with this nice built-in filter. Let's have a little investigate to see if I can get the fan in. But without the filter housing. Back in a bit. Okay, she's in the bottom. Couple of problems. One is, well, there's no filter. The other is she isn't actually in the right place. I've had to shift it over by about oh, five, ten mil, and shift it over and down. So, and also I've only got one, two, three screws because there's no screw here to line up where I did manage to muller these in. This is a temporary fix, guys. This is not permanent. There's no filter on it, which I don't like. And she's not in the right holes. But I just hope I don't, I'm always going to have to take that fan out if I want to undo the if I want to undo the PCI slots. What it needs is one of those little filter like that over it, but it hasn't got one. It's only got a filter over here. So how to filter that? Hmm. I could muller this, I could muller this and sort of screw it in place. That might work. I don't like the idea of mulling it completely. I have to take all these big knobbly bits off. Might be quicker and easier just to buy a filter. I've got one back here. This one, but I was going to use this one in there to, because this one's going to be sucking a lot more air than this one. So. This filter, which I happen to have, is going to go on the inside in there. Hmm. Oh well. Time to play with those. Time to play with those. Now we've finished playing with the bottom. See you in a minute. Right. Got these reversed. This one and this one. Now. These spring clips, which you can't see because it's too bloody dark. Hang on. Get me light in there. Reversing these. It can be done, because I've done it on both of them. But it brings a whole new meaning to the word fiddly and making you want to swear. That might actually be a bit of my blood on there anyway. So, time to play with this. This needs reversing. Back in a bit. Now, here's a thing that I have noticed fitting these filters to regular fans. The most logical thing would be to put that here and then flip it round. The problem is this ends up rubbing on this and it's a pain, pain, in, the pain in the tail. What you have to do is fit the filter on the back. And that's a bum ache. So you've got to fit that on first. It also makes cleaning them a trick, tad tricky either as well. But if you when I try to fit one of these on the front face, it just ground. I might investigate the possibility of putting it here, but that would look fugly. And it would attempt to try and pull it in too tight. I don't know, maybe it would fit on there. Yeah, I'll go for it that way around. Could be easier to clean. Anyway, back in a bit. Now, here's a thing that I have noticed fitting these filters to regular fans. The most logical thing would be to put that here and then flip it round. The problem is this ends up rubbing on this and it's a pain, pain, in, the pain in the tail. What you have to do is fit the filter on the back. And that's a bum ache. So you've got to fit that on first. It also makes cleaning them a trick, tad tricky either as well. But if you, when I try to fit one of these on the front face, it just ground. I might investigate the possibility of putting it here, but that would look fugly. And it would attempt to try and pull it in too tight. I don't know, maybe it would fit on there. Yeah, I'll go for it that way around. Could be easier to clean. Anyway, back in a bit. Okay, she's back up and running. Um, 
thanks to the guys at uh, the overclock3d.net forum for the advice. Um, so, these are still out. Still fairly quiet. The job beyond the back is still raging like a typhoon, but now sucking in. Um, that's out. Helps I'm looking what I'm looking doing what I'm looking at. So that's out. So that should be pulling the heat away from the uh, graphics cards. She's still too loud. <laughs> Things are still set too high. But um, that's me. What I'll be doing is um, running a Unigen benchmark. Uh, And also, HW, where are we? Helps if I'm looking at HW. And uh, that's HW. Come on, open her up. Uh, 21 degrees. 21 degrees. Yeah, right. Mm, don't think so. <laughs> I was add, uh, with the old phenom. I reckon I used to have to add about ten, eleven degrees to this uh, phenom two, and but now it's bulldozer. I reckon you've got to add at least twenty degrees to that idle temperature. CPU tin, which is the um, unit, tends to be a little closer, but even then, thirty-six is a little optimistic. So we'll stick that over to there, and we will have a look at this. They've changed the default settings on this is 3.0 and tessellation is now dis disabled by default so I normally whack that up to normal to make it more similar to the old test um, and I'll run that up and see what the temperatures are like in half an hour or so oh well talk to you in a bit okay just spent the last 15-20 minutes doing Unigen running and looping now let's have a look at the temperatures now i don't know how well these are going to come out but highest cpu temperature was 52 53 um add 20 63 73 that is a little warm so i still don't know quite how to read these they're coming down quite nicely uh cpu tin which i tend to believe a little more than these down here highest temperature 66 maybe you could add five to that making it peaking out at 70. Now oh, it's just starting to disappear but you can see heaven doesn't max your CPUs out it's not like running prime or something but you know it's something similar to gaming usage so that was quite reasonable. Um, I ran Unigen I looped it for about four or five six times something like that and uh, then did a benchmark benchmark score live what's that um, Average 118.1, score just under the 3000 mark, minimum, well it's always low because it always does that at the beginning, max 258, that's like, who the hell cares what that figure is and who the hell cares what that figure is. The score is the important bit and the average is important. This is open and run with the exception of turning, oh, what's this? so I'm running at um, 12, uh, sorry, 1920 by 1080, shade is high, texture is high, filter trilinear, and stropy, because I can never pronounce it, four, occlusion enabled, refractions enabled, volumetric enabled, tessellation normal, that's the only change I made to the, I'm touching my screen, I'm going to put fingerprints all over it, um, that's the only change to open and run, because they've changed the default starting for three, 2.2 and 2.5, always used to have tessellation at normal so that's the only thing I've changed so I think she's working no chance signs of throttling the air coming out of the top is warm as one might expect the air coming out of here is warm the case doesn't feel warm before putting your hand here would have felt hot and it doesn't it's cool to the touch which is good She's warm around here, because that's them chuffing great big graphics cards. So, uh, fingers crossed, uh, it's a Friday. This evening is normal clan Battlefield 3-ing, which I'll probably be playing for about three or four hours. 
and that's the thing that really is the test. Um, fingers crossed I've, I may have the cooling sorted. All I've got to do now is calm those fans down a bit because they are a bit loud um, and start saving up for a better processor because bulldozers are poo. Um, they do the job, they're just like a placeholder at the moment. So I need a new motherboard and a new CPU, but we will have to wait up, wait until I save up. So uh, thanks to the guys at, um, hang on, get you the link. Bomb, tech, overclockers, and the forum which I still have down here on a different link. And here we go. These guys helping me out. Go down to da, 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 air cooling and advice spelt incorrectly. Apparently that's with a C, not an S. No one's picked me up on my bad spelling, which is nice, where I have been posting and people have been helping me and um, still helping me. Uh, and uh, that's me. I will be editing this and posting it here and the guys can comment and uh, see what I've been up to. So that's a wrap on this one, all the uploading, editing and stuff and YouTubing to do. Talk to you gentlemen later. Bye bye.